it's Amber Lee back here again today. Thanks for joining me. Um, I promised you last time that I'd teach you how to make chocolate chip cookies. I love my KitchenAid mixer. I, I'm telling you, if you're going to make chocolate chip cookies, you got to have a KitchenAid mixer, okay? The handheld mixers just don't do, just don't do it justice. So we're going to start out with two sticks of butter, and I left these, I left these out overnight, and they're already soft. You're going to whip this for about five minutes. That is my first tip uh, for chocolate chip cookies. You have got to whip that butter. Okay. So now the butter's nice and whipped. We're going to add our sugar. This is um, three quarters cup of white sugar and three quarters cup packed brown sugar. Pack it in there really good. So I just put it all in one bowl and I'm going to dump the whole thing in. And it doesn't really matter if you use golden or dark. I like to use golden actually, but this time it's a mix of golden and dark because I ran out. The next tip is you gotta you gotta whip this sugar into your batter really, really, really well because once the flour goes in, you're not gonna mix it very much. So I'm gonna let this go for another few minutes. And scrape and scrape the sides. You always want to stop and scrape the sides down because you really need to get it all incorporated in there. Halfway through mixing that butter in with the sugar, we're going to add vanilla. Now, most recipes call for about a teaspoon. I always add extra vanilla, so I'm going to add two teaspoons. And then you crank it back up and let it run. Next, we're going to add two eggs, one at a time, and again, you mix it really well in between each addition. Drop one in there, crank it up. Now we're on to our dry ingredients. Um, I have two and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour. And then here's another tiny tip and trick. I like to add a little bit more baking soda than it's called for. So it calls for a teaspoon. My recipe does anyways. I like to add a heaping teaspoon. So we're going to put that in. And then equal, equal parts salt. And then I'm going to sift it one more time. I had already measured and sifted the flour, but now I want to sift it together because that's my third tip. Okay, that's all sifted together. Now we're going to add it slowly to the batter that we have here. It's whipped really, really nice. Um, I'm just going to add like a spoonful at a time and kind of do it on low. This isn't something you just want to incorporate the flour, okay? We done beat the heck out of it, so now we're going to take it easy. Always be sure you turn it down really low when you add the flour, if not off, because it always like puffs it back up in your face. That looks good. Okay, now comes the fun part, is the chocolate chips. I think I usually measure out two cups. But I eat some along the way. Okay, so I'm just going to incorporate these. I'm going to turn it on stir. So it just starts in the morning. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so here's my next tip. You cannot put this on a baking dish right now or a cookie sheet right now and put it in the oven. You have to let it cool. And the reason is, is because this butter is so soft and the mixture is so soft right now. If you put it in the oven, your cookies are going to be flat as a flitter. They will not rise up, but you've got to cover it, make sure it's airtight. So I'm going to use some saran wrap. So now we have the chilled cookie dough and I'm going to take the lid off of that. Okay, my next tip. Here, I've got my baking dish, but I have on it, this changed my life, y'all. I got this for my birthday one year from a girlfriend, and I didn't even know what it was. It's called a seal pat, and it's just a silicone baking sheet or baking pat. And I'm telling you, I'm going to leave it off to the side and bake a cookie 
with it and make a cookie without it and let you see the difference, okay? So I'm gonna roll these out a little bit. I feel like I got some cookie dough flung up in my hair from that mixer and I don't doubt that at all. I usually end up wearing more than I eat or cook. We're gonna throw this in the oven, 375, preheated. While we're waiting, I'm getting excited. Okay, we gotta grab these out, they're getting too brown. Now, this is the key too. You've got to get these off this hot pan and onto a nice cooling rack. These over here are perfect. Now look at this. That is not good. You need a seal pad. I'm telling you, a seal pad works every time. Okay, so now comes the best part. We're gonna eat one. I'm gonna put a few on a plate here. How we good? Oh yeah. That's good. That's good. Thank y'all for joining me today. Love y'all. See y'all next time. Good Lord willing and the creek don't rise. Something smells good in here. There's the cookies. Cookies. Hot cookies.